Hi, and welcome to Erlang Programming for Beginners. My name is Brett Romero, and I'm going to be your instructor throughout this course. So a little bit of introduction about what this course is about, kind of an overview of what kind of lessons we're going to get into and what you can expect from the course. So the first module is getting you up to speed with Erlang. So we kind of go through a history of how Erlang came about, what it's used for. Then we get into Erlang syntax, we create functions in Erlang, it's a functional programming language. And we also get into conditional flow. We see how to compile a program in a file. And then we look at process IDs. So that's the first module. Then in the second module, we get into lists. It's all about lists. We get into creating lists, list comprehensions. We look at how to cast different kinds of types to other types. Now Erlang really doesn't have a type definition inside of it, but once we get into casting, you'll kind of see how that works. Then in module three, we get into exception handling. So we start off with how exceptions occur. We look at how to handle them by catching the exceptions. There's three different classes that can be used in Erlang for handling exceptions. So we look at all these, we go through Erlang's try, catch, and then finally it's end. So everything in Erlang terminates with the period. So we see how to end our try, catch, terminate with the period, and then what we can do if it's successful, how do we handle whenever it's not successful, we go into our catch. We'll see how to pass parameters in with our exception handling. And finally, we wrap up with records, Erlang records, which are data structures in Erlang. They're kind of loosely defined. If you're familiar with tuples, then you'll see how records very much similar to the structure of tuples with a little bit of syntactic sugar around them. You could maybe say it's kind of a little bit of a wrapper that Erlang has around them, but we'll see how they're used and how to fill them, change them with different kinds of data. So that's an overview of the course and we can go ahead and jump right in.